Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to um more reviews. I am Dash Show Rose. I am here to review um more TV shows. Um But before I get any further, um please subscribe, you know, for more videos and content. Let's hit, let's hit that notification bell. And I, it really would help, you know, support my channel. I really would appreciate it. Thank you for the people who are supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. But I, I would really appreciate it. So, um, so, uh, yeah, um. But make sure you guys are still subscribed too, because I have heard people have had issues with with the YouTube app messing up and all that, and you know YouTube, you know, kind of taking away some people's subs, which I think YouTube really needs to fix that. But hey, I don't know. YouTube's kind of in the process of you know figuring out what to do right now. I've heard people complaining about YouTube doing that where they take people's subs. So, I don't know. Make, make sure you guys are still s subbed. Now, sometimes it may be because of, of bots. That could be why YouTube is doing it, too, because of bots. But, I don't know. Make sure you guys are still subscribed, though. And, um... And, yeah. So, um... Any, any further... Let's, let's talk about this episode. Let's talk about the big problem. Now this is the the very first episode of the Fairly Odd Parents from the actual show itself. Um, now season zero technically counts as the show. I think they count it because it's it's so similar to the final version. While a lot of you know pilots and stuff usually are much different. Like Family Guy, for example, had its own pilot, although it was based off of an episode. Of the final version, it was so much. It was so much different than the final version. While the fairly odd parents, pretty much kept the things the similar. Although in this in this sh show, Cosmo's voice is a bit you know higher. It's still deep, but it's higher than it was. You know, in the in the pilot episodes, which shows you that the. Creators of the show were making Cosmo's voice higher even in the earlier seasons, which this being the first episode, so uh, of, of you know season one. So yeah, but but a lot of the characters are still still act the same and stuff. And Cosmo, although he's a little bit stupider, he's still he's still you know a lot smarter than he will be down the road. So. So, anywho, let's let's talk about the big problem. Let's talk about it. Um, I think I already stated that. I don't really know. I'm kind of half a, half asleep right now. I didn't sleep very well last night. I think I got like five hours of sleep. So, I was trying to do download my my Wii U games. Um, like well, some of the Wii U games that I took forever to download. So, uh, yeah. I'm actually gonna be doing doing the the um the next Blue Sky film epic today, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm probably gonna be doing a Wii U video, which is gonna take a long time to make. So, yeah, um, so that that that's that's kind of why why I'm doing that. So, uh, yeah, um, so epic will be today, and I gotta say I've not seen epic in in years. So, um, just letting you guys know it's it's gonna be kind of I'm basically going to be going into it pretty much with fresh eyes, so... Yeah, I hope you guys look forward to my review. What I've heard about the film, though, what I've heard about it, it's kind of boring and stuff, but... I, I haven't seen the film in a while. I think I remember the film was, was, was not really too bad. It was not very... I don't remember thinking it was boring, but... Opinions change over time, so maybe I don't like it anymore. I don't know. We'll find out later today when I watch it. I got it on, I got the DVD right now on my, you know, t table here by my computer, so. So I'll be reviewing that later. Anywho, right now, let's talk, let's, let's be, we're talking about the fairly odd parents, the big problem. 
Being the first episode of the show, how does it stand out as a whole? I gotta say, this episode, this episode, actually, it, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty bad for, for a, for, for the first episode. Yeah, it, 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 this episode is definitely bad. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not very good either. It's. After Star, after Star Product, per, um, Giant, I mean Great per, Productions or whatever her name is, um, reviewed this episode. Like, I'm kind of with her side now. If you don't know who that YouTuber is, she used to be you, um, she used to be working for Mr. Enter, and then Mr. Enter fired her, and I don't know. Personally, I'm not. I don't really watch her content anymore. I'm not very a fan of it. After the Wreck It Ralph video, I kind of turned off from her. I didn't really like how she criticized, you know, criticized, you know, fans and stuff. I, I just don't think she's that interesting of a YouTuber, so, um, yeah, um. She says she's, she's trying to change her ways, which is good, um. But for her YouTube career, I, I, don't, I don't think she has the best content. I, I feel like there's better reviewers out there, and Mr. Enter is one of them. Yeah, I question Mr. Enter's reviews sometimes, too, but... I, I don't think his reviews are, are all really that bad. They're, they're more entertaining. So, uh, yeah. I'm sure she, that, that she's a, that, that star, you know, a star, you know, is a, is a, a, a good person in real life. Because I hear she's, she had some issues, but I hear she's changing her way. So, We'll see if that happens or not, but personally, I don't really watch her content anymore. I'm still subscribed to her, but I don't even think she's really, you know, uploading too many videos anymore, so, yeah. But yeah, I'm not really a big fan, but basically, she reviewed this episode, and, and I gotta agree with her. This episode here is, I, I definitely gotta agree with her with this one. It's, it's definitely... Definitely not a very good start to this show, honestly. Now, there was season zero, but again, that show is not canon. Well, it's it's kind of canon and kind of not. They're, they're trying, the, the creator of this show is try, trying to make you guys hyped for, for this new show. And they start this episode off with, you know, Timmy wanting to grow up. And, and this is one of the concepts I hate so much. I know a lot of people hate the liar reveal plot in, in movies and shows, but at, at least, at least, you know, those sometimes can go somewhere. I feel like a lot of cartoons, you know, fail at this, this concept uh, all the time. They fail at this. Basically, a character, you know, hates being a kid and they want to become older. So they become older and, and it just, it just doesn't work out very well. Sabrina, the uh, teenage witch, the animated series, did the exact same thing. They had t Sabrina wish she was older, and she got became older, and and it just it's just the plot doesn't work because what, what what they try to do is they're trying they're, what they try to do on cartoons is they try to convince you that that growing up too fast is a bad thing, which it kind of is. I mean. You don't want to grow up too fast. You want to enjoy being a kid while you can. But, um, but the but the fact that they 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 um, push it too far. They push it way way too far to the point where like, like you feel bad for the main characters that get that become adults. And that's how this episode is. Now I have not had the best childhood. My childhood was pretty uh, rough. It well it really was. I had a rough childhood, and uh, and in the past, like when I was little, I had a you know, you know, I had a gender problem too. See, my gender thing it was back and forth all the time. It still does it to this day, and it drives me nuts. It actually caused a, a lot of issues in the past, issues I don't want to discuss. But uh, yeah, so so uh, yeah, but. But yeah, I mean, but, but, but like, like if, if I if, like if I upload my videos on YouTube, um, because I'm probably gonna be doing that, showing off places, 
You guys will see that I'm actually going into the boys bathroom because I'm technically male, but I'm also female. So I have I have both genders. I really don't actually I don't really know if I have a gender at all. It's just it's a freaking mess is what it is. But yeah, um, but I, I'm kind of I. That's why the whole dash shell thing, rose thing is on here because I'm I'm not uh, unlike Star um, Productions. I'm not I'm not transgender. I'm not transgender, but I'm more I think bisexual than anything. So yeah. But yeah, that, I had a, I had a rough childhood because of that and many other issues that I don't want to discuss right now. So but but I, I'm happy to be an adult. I remember being scared to be an adult. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this episode here are going to be scared to be an adult, too. Because this freaking episode here does this concept really, really bad. They handle it really bad. Like, it starts off with a typical, a typical, you know, episode. You know, from a cartoon, you know, where... where of the fairly odd parents, you know, where, where Vicky is, you know, she's baby, babysitting, you know, she's babysitting, you know, Timmy, you know, you know, just like usual, you know, this is before they started making her like super, super evil and stuff. She was just a typical mean babysitter. But yeah, basically what, what happens though is is Timmy's tired of being picked on at school and I should I could have probably done a fun fact in this video that it was the first first appearance of of Chester and AJ. I could have done that. Oh well. I'm not I'm honestly not gonna be doing a fun fact for like every single episode because that's gonna be a pain to remember, but I'll do a fun fact if I can think of one. I couldn't think of one when I was doing this, so yeah. But yeah, fun fact though, yeah, Chester and AJ's first appearance is in this episode, so that's good to know. And Francis's too. Cause this is where they start giving Timmy an actual school and bullies and You know, it makes it the show more exciting. Plus we get introduced pro to to my favorite teacher, not in this episode, but in this in the entire cartoon community, Mr. Crocker. I gotta say he's probably Far down, my, my favorite teacher ever in cartoon history. He's hilarious. I like Mr. Crocker so much. Um, but yeah, I like Mr. Crocker, and I'm glad that they give him a school and stuff. You know, Timmy, a school to go to, so that's good to know. So it's just, it's not just Timmy being miserable at home. He's miserable at school, too, which makes sense, you know, because school, school sometimes, depending on where you're at, can be kind of miserable. Because, because some schools, you know, are very strict on certain things. And sometimes there's bullies who bully you, you know. I didn't really have any bullies in school. Um, I, I, I had I had this, this one girl, um, Lauren, who treated me like scum all the time. And she frustrated me. I did not like her at all. I did not like her. She treated me like scum all the time. So bullies, I can get bullies, you know. Bullies can be a pain. And that's where Timmy's... Fairies come in, you know, to help them out with that. But, but, um, but yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta say though, yeah, I, the school segment only lasts a few s seconds in the episode and then it cuts, cuts to the main plot of Timmy tired of being a little kid and he, he, he imagines himself as this, this handsome, you know, big you know guy which is a pretty cool design i i really wish they freaking used it in this episode but no they didn't use it they decided to give him an ugly a really hideous and creepy ugly character design they gave him a really creepy you know ugly character design for his um you know adult self instead of giving him that that you know nice nice looking you know squidward you know, Squidward, you know, face from the two faces of Squidward, you know, that, that handsome, you know, version of Squidward. That's what they were, that's what they were, you know, showing in Timmy's, you know, vision of being an adult. I guess they wanted to, you know, the writers wanted you to, wanted you, wanted to show the audience that just because you visualize yourself like that does not mean you're actually going to look like that or, or 
it's not going to be what you seem. But that that's just frustrating. Like, I, I, I really hate that they did that because it's just freaking... I, it, it, I don't know, it doesn't add to the plot at all. It just freaking makes the plot even worse because basically they make Timmy, you know, Timmy, you know very hideous looking. Well, he's not like hideous, hideous looking, but they got to give you a close up of his back hair. And gosh, it's freaking, it's freaking horrible. Like it is horrible to look at. And I'm just, again, like I, like I said, I, 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 I get that they, I get like what they were trying to do, but I, they fail at it pretty badly be, and poorly because, which well, I guess bad and poorly it's the same thing. But they feel they fail at it poorly because the, what, the, what the writers are trying to do, they're trying to make make Timmy visualize what he would be like as an adult, and then they try to change him into a, an adult. You know, because p p kids, you know, are curious what they their, their lives would be like when they're adults. I guess they were trying to, you know. Like I said, give a message to kids that just because you visualize something like this does not mean it's always going to end up that way, which is kind of true. Like, when you're a kid, you might think you're going to be a, an astronaut or a weather person, but, you're, but you really aren't, you know? You're not really, you don't really, you know, I mean, just because you visualize something, that does not mean you're always going to end up being that. You know, you could change your mind as time goes on. But, but I don't like that concept. I don't like how they turn Timmy into this creepy-looking adult. I don't like that at all. I, I think it's so stupid, and, and it, just, it, just, I, it, just, it just makes the episode even worse. And then, and then, we, and then, we, con then we constantly, you know, cut to, to Timmy, you know, trying to be nice and get treated like scum. So, like, when, when, he, when, when he, you know... When he, I mean, it helps an old lady cross the street. She freaking sprays him, which is so mean. I, I really, I think they should have kept that out of the episode. I don't think that needed to be in the episode. It's funny, though, that, that that's actually the same old lady that was in Timmy's flashback, but yet they couldn't give Timmy his actual, you know, look in the flat, well, and the visual, you know, of his mind, you know. But I don't know. But yeah, but I mean, I, I, but the thing is, he helps the old lady get across the street, then he goes to eat because he's hungry, and then he has to clean the dishes. Basically showing that, freak, it's, it's showing kids, kids that being an adult sucks, and it, it makes kids not want to grow up. That's what it is. It's basically making kids not want to grow up, and it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all for them to do that. You, you want you want people to be to look forward to growing and not not make them you know scared of it. Because I mean I had a similar problem in Cowley Hills when I was in Cowley Hills, in fifth grade they were they changed all this crap this unnecessary crap trying to change it on you and make you force you to grow up by taking away like I couldn't say happy or sad or mad on in reading class because freaking it's. I, I'm too I'm too old to say that, and then they and I'm too old to play games and, and speech because I was in speech class too. I was in that because I had a I didn't speak you know very well. I spoke very well, but I didn't speak you know the th is very well back then. So yeah, I was in speech. And I think that was just so stupid, and you know basically I I I, I had to deal with that stuff in school. I had to deal with you know. Like, as I had to deal with, you know, with there being stupid rules and stuff being changed because, because, you know, you're too old for this. And that, that's not a, that's not a good, good way to, that's not a good way to, you know, get people hyped for growing up. That honestly made it worse for me. Because when I was little, I did not want to grow up. And those changes were, were just unnecessary changes that ruined fifth grade for me it only made it worse because, you know, because, you know, they, they constantly were changing things. Like I said, I couldn't play games and speech anymore because we were too old for it. Even though I was like 10 back then. And then we, could, we couldn't, you know. And then we, we couldn't, you know. We couldn't play, you know, games. We couldn't, like, I couldn't say happy or sad or mad anymore. So, so clearly, you know, like I said, they're, 
They were stupid rules. And that's exactly that's exactly what the Fairly Odd Parents is doing to they're try they're trying to, to to make Timmy as miserable as possible to to show him that gr to make him grow up. That's, that's exactly what they were doing in Cowley Hills. They were trying to do that. No, I wasn't as miserable as Timmy. Well, actually, I think I was. I was actually miserable when, as Timmy was. But but not, but not because of that. There, there were other reasons too besides that. But but you get my picture here. That that you can't you can't just you can't just you know punish someone and, and make them grow up. You gotta let them you know change themselves. And like I said, this episode just freaking does this horribly. It really does. It really does do this does this horribly. And. And I guess the concept of this episode, because Timmy's an adult, he can't, you know, wish to be younger, so they spend about, they spend about, you know, about two minutes of the episode trying to get Timmy to be younger, but at that point, the episode's almost over, and then by, by the end, Timmy gets arrested because, why? Because he's an, a creepy adult. And I gotta say, I thought the cops from Spongebob were freaking bad, but in this episode, Freaking the cops suck because the cops apparently decide to arrest arrest Timmy because he's in a creepy and adult. So so let me get this straight. There, all those all those prisoners in the end of the episode, all those are prisoners because when Timmy you know wishes wishes he was younger, basically basically you know he wishes he was younger and then you know. And then, you know, like, all these prisoners are wishing they had their mom mommies and daddies, too. Me meaning that these prisoners probably got arrested, too, because they're creepy. That, that, that's, just, that's just wrong. These cops, these freaking cops deserve to be arrested, not, not these people. So, uh, yeah. And the episode ends with, apparently, if you grow, if you grow up, you're gonna be creepy, creepy and hideous looking like Timmy. That's what the, mes the message of this episode is trying to give to kids. So this one is definitely bad. This one is freaking just bad. This is a terrible way to start off with this show. It's a terrible way to start off with this show. I totally agree with Star, with Star Great Productions. I, I, I totally agree with her. Or otherwise known as Rebecca because her name's Re Re Rebecca. I totally agree with her. That, that this episode is actually not a good start to this episode, this show, which is a, which is a shame. This one's bad because it's really rare, rare, rare to hear Cosmo's, you know, old voice. But I just can't find anything that's really great about this episode. I can't. It, it's not the most, the worst episode, but it's not the best. It's not the best episode. You know, it's not the best. But it's not the, the best episode out there. The, the, there, there, are, there are better ones out there that we could watch. Like even the, the, the B episode is much better than this one. Which I looks like I was looking down at the, the, the date there and realized I forgot to put A there. But oh well. Well the, well the season down at the bottom I forgot to put A. Oh well. It'll take time to get used to, but yeah, this episode is just just nothing but, but basically, they're they're, they're trying to t tell kids that if they, like I said, they're trying to tell kids if if they grow up, they're gonna end up like Timmy is what they're they're getting at. I don't think that's what the rioters are trying to intend, but that's basically what the episode is throwing at you. Like at the end, where Tim, where t Timmy where Timmy's walking walking out out, you know. Outside, with this um, he's walking out outside with this, with this you know like police officer got, police officer guy. For some reason, his eyes are closed. Yeah, I'm not sure why the, the police officer's eyes are closed, but but yeah, a lot all all of them in season season one, their eyes are closed. I'm not sure why they did that design, but that's kind of weird. But yeah, their eyes are all closed and stuff. But but yeah, basically, yeah, basically, Timmy's walking out with them and he's talking about how it's, it's better to be a kid 
then be be a, a a hairy you know adult and stuff. Basically pointing out that being an adult sucks. And yeah, sure, sure, being an adult has its problems, but. When you're a, when you're an adult, trust me, it's better to be a kid. Because when you're an adult, you get to you get to make your own choices and stuff, and you don't have to rely on your parents to help you out anymore. So being an adult is actually better in ways. It's also worse in ways because you got to pay for bills and stuff. But but I I think that the, the good outweighs the bad. Because the reason why my childhood sucked so bad was not because of the just because of the gender fluid thing, but it was also because I I didn't could make a lot of the decisions and my my parents had to make it for me. So so uh, yeah. Anywho, anywho, before I wrap this up, I probably should give this a, this episode a a score between zero and one hundred and twenty. Now let's see here, what, what score to give this episode, what score? I think I'm going to give this one 26 points. Twenty-six points, that's right, twenty-six points. This episode, this episode here is getting twenty-six points. And the reason why I'm giving it 26 points is because it's not it's not just it's just not, it's not just lazy but but it's also again teaching kids a bad message and stuff and and you might be, you might be asking yourself why it's getting 26 points and not lower and that's that's mainly because 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 although although you know Although it's kind of it, it gives a bad message to kids and stuff, I still think, I still think you know like, I feel like all the characters besides the cops are likable. They are likable, and, and I think they do. They do. They do. You know, and I and I, I, I and I do, I do think you know like Vicky it plays a good role in this episode. I do, I do like Vicky, you know, Vicky, you know, searching for this this I'm you know this searching for Timmy and stuff. So I think I think it's kind of funny, like kind of funny how like she she dresses up you know Timmy as a basketball and then you know and then you know Mr. Turner comes home and packs him. That's pretty funny. But otherwise, this episode is just. It's just kind of just, I don't really like it as much. Basically, the, a lot of the jokes, too, are, are mainly just Vic, Vicky, you know, well, as people mention her name, Vicky, you know, well, stuff breaks around her, like glass, birds, and stuff, so. Yeah, because I guess there was a, bir a bird in this episode, too, I guess, but I don't know. Anywho, I'm going to let this go. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And stay stay true to it. And remember, guys, if you guys are kids, remember, being an adult is not as bad as, as it seems. Sure, you got to pay bills and, and work, but but with, be, with being being a kid, you, you, you have to go to school, too. And you, in school, you can't... In school, you can't, you know... Go to different jobs and, and stuff. You have to stay at the same school. So, so yeah, and, and, and being being kid, being a kid, you can have fun too. Have fun when you're a kid. Have fun and and remember that. Remember having fun is is you know is good and enjoy it while you can. Not saying being an adult is bad, but just saying enjoy being you know a kid as well. Like if you guys if you guys are you know having summer break summer breaks coming up soon for for kids um at least at where I'm at in the U S. If you guys are you know if you guys are you know wanting to have fun and enjoy your summer, maybe go to the pool or the beach or or Universal Parks or something. I don't know. Go, go somewhere fun. Remember to have fun and enjoy it. Enjoy it because you can't you can't be a kid forever. And remember, there are things to look forward to when you become an adult, too. 
like I said, you get, you get to choose where you want to work. You don't have to go to the same school over and over. You can work anywhere you want, unlike schools where you have to be at the same spot. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and like I said earlier, make sure you guys are still subscribed. And see you guys later for more videos. This is Dash Shaw Rose, out.